In a small, quaint village where the rhythm of life ebbs and flows with the seasons, a boy named Raj was born into a humble farming family. Despite the constraints of their financial situation, Raj was a beacon of determination and curiosity, a young dreamer in a world of practicality. As a child, Raj's thirst for knowledge was insatiable. He found solace and wisdom within the worn pages of books at the local library, and his natural knack for mending things earned him a reputation as the village's handyman. As he sprouted into adolescence, the seeds of understanding began to bloom within him. Education, he realized, was his ladder out of the trenches of poverty. Under the dim, flickering light of a kerosene lamp, Raj plunged himself into his studies, his efforts culminating in a scholarship to a prestigious city university. The city, teeming with challenges and opportunities, was a new battlefield for Raj. But he didn't waver. He juggled academic excellence and part-time jobs, earning a degree in engineering, and soon securing a position with a renowned tech company. As the years rolled on, Raj's financial status swelled. He played the game of stocks and real estate with a shrewd mind, and his engineering prowess birthed a groundbreaking gadget that catapulted him to fame and fortune. But Raj, our hero, never lost sight of his roots. His wealth became a springboard for his village's development. Schools sprouted, clean water flowed, and job opportunities blossomed. The village that had once cradled him in poverty now flourished under his generosity. Raj's journey from a humble village boy to a successful engineer and philanthropist painted a vivid picture of resilience and determination. His story echoed through his village, inspiring the youth to dream big and work hard. It served as a reminder that no dream is too grand, no goal unreachable, no matter where one starts. Raj's life is a testament to the power of perseverance, of dreaming beyond one's circumstances, and the potential within us all to transform not just our lives, but the lives of those around us.